Hey everybody, it's Olivia Grace back with another video for you guys. Today's video is going to be about how to manifest a change in your job or career. Um, so I know that everybody is not necessarily interested in being an entrepreneur. Um, some people just hate the job that they're in and wish they had a job that they didn't hate. Um, so I definitely went through this and was able to manifest a few different jobs. There's my dog, Zion. Um, and there's a few different tips that I have for you guys. Um, so the first tip is to be clear about what you want in your new job. Like if you hate your coworkers, maybe you have really disrespectful managers, um, you have a lot of drama at your job, your job maybe doesn't pay well, whatever it is, be clear about what you want in your new job. Because sometimes we'll get a new job and create the same issues that we had in our first job um, or have the same issues because we weren't clear enough in what we were looking for in our new job. All right. So get clear about be very specific. What kind of area, what kind of hours, what kind of money, what kind of people, how do you want to be treated? All these things are things that matter. And you obviously have a better list of what really matters to you in a job. But be clear about those things. The next thing is to make room um, for that job energetically. Right. Don't quit your job. First of all, disclaimer, don't quit your job before you have a new job, because when you try to manifest from a point of needing a job, um, it, your energy is of lack and of not having, and it's very, very difficult. Um, if not, I won't say impossible. I don't really believe in impossible, but, um, it's very difficult to manifest, um, anything when you're coming from a place of needing and lack and just not having. Um, but what I mean when I say make space for the job is start to buy outfits that you know, you would need at that job. Let's say, you know, you're working I don't know, like a retail job or like a, you know, McDonald's type job and you want to work at like a business or an office or something like that, like a nine to five, start, you know, getting outfits that you would wear to that job. Start waking up at the time that you would wake up if you had to go to that job. Um, just start moving and acting like as if you were already having the job. I tell you guys this in like every single video, when you act as if... It sends the signal out to the universe that you already have it, you're already doing it, and it comes much quicker. So you can do that as well. And um, the last thing that you can do to manifest a new um, job or new career is you have to stop talking shit about your current job. Because again, that's the energy that you're creating around careers, around jobs, around everything. And so you will bring that into your new job and you'll wonder why, why am I dealing with the same situation? Even if you're clear about what you want, but you bring to it a very negative vibration, guess what you're going to experience? More negativity. So you have to be able to clear, don't stop talking about how much you hate your job. Stop talking about, you know, how much you hate your boss, you hate your coworkers, everything. Just try to be positive and knowing like, okay, I'm setting something else up for myself. Um, and that this also ties into my last tip too. Take action, you guys. A lot of people just sit in, you know, we know the coworkers that have been there for 30 plus years and all they do is talk about how much they hate it and it's just so horrible. And it's like, if it's so horrible, why are you here for 30 years? You know, um, take action. Actually, look, you guys, I know for me um, and a lot of manifestors, it's all about, oh, mental and manifesting and it's going to fall out the sky. And sometimes it does, but. Sometimes you have to put a little bit of effort. Look, you know, don't apply to 100 jobs a day, but at least look, see if something stands out to you, see if something resonates with you, you know, um, and just let it go. Allow it to come. Like I said, don't have a desperate energy around it. And when you're hating your job or you quit your job, that creates desperate energy to where you need it because you don't have an income. You know, be grateful for where you're at. Be grateful for what you have. And that's going to allow you to just be cool with what you have for right now until your new job enters. All right, guys. So make the space for the job. Take action. Um, stop downing and talking down about your um, job that you have. And um, be clear about what it is that you want for your new job. Um, so right now I have a shirt. It says Phony Box. I'm going to turn around so you can see the back, guys. Yep. And this is one of my friends. 
Um, Tashira, she has her own business. Um, she has so many things, you guys. I've been able to look at her inventory. She actually sells um, phone accessories, um, especially phone cases. And her cases, I was looking at them today. I haven't even seen cases like this on uh, Amazon, which Amazon has everything. But she has really unique, cute, cute cases, you guys. Um, she has, like, bracelet chargers that you can charge your phone, ba basically, and you can wear it as a bracelet. She has, like, magnetic chargers. She has all kind of stuff I've never seen before, y'all. And I'm not, like, you know, disconnected from the world. Like, I kind of keep up with, like, technology and stuff like that. But she has all kinds of stuff, you guys. So, um, definitely check it out. It's called Phony Box. And I'm going to tag her in the description so you guys can check it out for yourself. Um, support black businesses, you guys. Um, people are out here doing their thing. She's definitely been doing her thing, and I'm really proud of her. And she also really just has amazing products, you guys, for really good prices. So you guys check her out. Other than that, I'm going to see you guys in the next video tomorrow. And you guys have a great rest of your night.